Greetings, unsettled souls. Uh, no theme music here as I welcome you to the correct views. Why would that be? Well, I'll tell you why. Because today, well, close, is the six-year anniversary of the show. And um, I felt like I should pull something up about it. I, I'm getting, um, first of all, the good news, the things I guess I would say I'm surprised with is that I have been lucky enough to become one of the premier voices, I guess, on Fukushima in terms of people that don't have a physics degree or something, people that know a lot more about it clearly than I do. But, I mean, in terms of reporting on it, I think uh, this show and a few others have done a remarkable job at staying on it. And uh, I wish that wasn't the case. But it has been. I wish it could be for something uh, a little more cheerful. I'm the nuclear radiation guy, but okay, that's fine. Um, I'm, I'm excited that some of the, we've been to Bilderberg twice. We have interviewed Alex Jones, Mark Dice, Luke Radowski, We Are Change. We were on the media truck for CNN, uh, for uh, Donald Trump right beside CNN and Fox. Yeah. yeah, I know. We had to take a bath when we got home after CNN, but they were there. Um, we got media passes. Uh, Christelle and I, I remember she wasn't even in town when I first started the show. The first 100 and some videos were erased, and then YouTube refused to get them back to us, so you can't even see those anymore. But, and that's YouTube in action, by the way. Uh, I guess that's one of the things I'm not happy about is the way I've seen YouTube go the last number of years. They have been uh, a driving force in one of the reason that may, may, one of the reasons many of us started doing this, and now they have become a, a detriment. They've actually been hurtful towards us. Um, refusing to allow people to monetize videos that say things that their political own that, that the the political platform of the owners do not agree with, which has never been about what social media was supposed to be created for, among other things. Um, I will say I'm happy that the job that this has led to my job as a, a journalist and a writer at Teddy Stick. And I'm also very happy about the number of things that Christelle and I have done in terms of the Dunce Cap of the Month award show. She has been sort of absent from the show lately, painfully so. A lot of it has to do with scheduling. But she does still uh, twist up the Dunce Caps every month. She uh, mails them, which makes them immensely cheaper. And uh, doesn't still do the camera work and that, as you can tell, because I'm looking into this and it's somewhat crooked right now. But I just wanted to go live to thank everybody who's been with me for the last six years. The people that have hit share, the people that have hit subscribe. There have been times when the show has had very dark points. Uh, times when it's been, quite frankly, very hard to keep it going because it can be expensive. Those that would like to help with that as our six-year anniversary here can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. And uh, that would be extremely helpful because we're running this off of an iPhone 4, two halogens because we don't have the third one even working, and a budget of nickels. So the money you give to us, it goes towards better things. We go to other states I've been on location for fires. Um, you name it, we do it. We could make this a much bigger platform, but we would need you guys to help us do it. So please do if you can. And I want to give a funny story on the way out about the show. Very rare is it that we have to do any kind of a retraction. Um, sometimes if I'm talking about, say, a Fukushima... I might stumble and say China instead of Japan. Or if I'm talking about North Korea, and then I start talking about South Korea, I might call their president uh, Kim Jong-un instead of Moon, remembering that on South Korea. Th those are speech errors. I don't tend to make... I don't make a ton of those either, but I mean, I don't tend to make... I, I tend to make those more frequently than screw-ups or retractions. Right? It, one of the funniest stories I like to tell about the show, to close out here is that um, I remember the very first show we did, 
I, well, I did. My wife uh, was just my girlfriend at the time, and she was in Arkansas with her family. And uh, she was. She used to watch the show all the time, and she would watch it when it was posted. And uh, when they first went up, she had reported back that they had uh, backscatter radiation machines at the Akron Canton Airport. And I found out later on that those were actually metal detectors. And at first I had thought, oh, what a dummy. But when I saw these things, I could understand why she thought it, because they were awfully big. They weren't like the metal detectors you normally see. But at the time, the backscatter radiation machines, of course, which have been pulled in most airports now because they're dangerous. Um, there are still some that have them, I know. Um, I, the very first story I ever did, I had to do a retraction on. And they, they did not have backscatter radiation machines at the Akron Canton Airport. But I, I, I've always thought that was funny. Your first show was a retraction. But uh, I also remember she was the one who had come up with a lot of the sound effects for the show. And she usually helped with the set design and things like that, of which we're going to be redoing again soon. Because this has been with me for a minute. So friends, I'm going to jump off here. Thank you. It's been about six minutes. That's one minute per year, I guess. Uh, you've listened to the correct views. I'm going to be back uh, Tuesday or so with the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Uh, my vehicle has been down, so I haven't even gotten to mail the last one yet. Uh, no one's fault on that one, but don't worry. Al Gore is still getting his dunce cap. Good night, friends. God bless.